information. Thank you, Caroline. And continuing our coverage, polls are set to open up here shortly, and cities and counties have different issues on their ballots today. There are three issues, though, that every voter in the state will decide on, each dealing with your tax dollars. And News 5's Allison Zimmerman breaking down the economic impacts of the issues for us this morning. Good morning, and those three issues include Amendment 78, Proposition 119, and Prop 120. Now, with the pandemic and the impact it's had on state and local governments, this morning we're taking a look at how 119 and 120 will impact the state's budget and really the state's economy as a whole. For example, Prop 119 would increase the tax on recreational marijuana over time to fund vouchers for out-of-school enrichment programs, and Prop 120 could reduce certain property taxes. I sat down with UCCS Economic Forum Director Tatiana Bailey to talk about this election and when it comes to whether or not Coloradans want to see certain tax increases or reductions, the number of people moving here is something she says to consider. Longer term, especially being a state that is growing at the pace that we're growing, we need to fund some of the things to make that growth sustainable. Uh, and to keep us as a desirable state. I mean, and, and that's everything from, you know, roads to bridges, maybe a front range rail. And certainly today, the statewide issues aren't the only thing on the ballot for many people, depending on where you live. School board, city council, and local TABOR initiatives are also on your ballot. And we'll be tracking it all right here on KOAA as soon as those results come in. In studio, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.